Hey y'all, happy Tuesday, happy Tuesday. How y'all doing this morning? It's early here. Y'all, I woke up super hungry because you know I don't normally eat this early. I had to fix me some breakfast this morning. Let me tell y'all what I got. Uh, for breakfast, I got some scrambled eggs, a couple of sausage patties, and I just threw a couple of pieces of that uh, solar low-carb bread over in the skillet, made some skillet toast. I got some jelly here, but I don't, I mean, some sugar-free strawberry preserves, but I don't know it. And then I also got me a little, a strawberry um, card master smoothie for my breakfast this morning. Let me say my grace, y'all. Heavenly Father, Lord, I thank you for this day. I thank you for blessing us to wake up this morning with a portion of health and strength, Father God. I thank you for the food I'm about to receive, for the nourishment of my body. In Christ's name, amen. Y'all know I got my boy Franks here with me. My boo, my boo thing, my boo thing. Franks. Ooh, y'all. Sister hungry. I think, I don't normally wake up this hungry. You know, I normally eat in the middle of the day, be my first meal, but I don't know. I woke up on 10 today. I, I gotta get me something to eat. So, honey, I got up and I ate some popcorn. I was a little hungry. Late last night, and so I made some popcorn. So, when you eat, huh? I guess when I said, Let me eat something light. So, I got up and made some of that boom popcorn I've got at the grocery hall. Mm. That may be why. Tastes fun. Mm. It's still good, it says. No, it don't taste right. I don't think I'm gonna drink that. Let me get some water. I'm out of this refrigerator. Yeah, that tastes kind of funny to me. I'd rather be safe than sorry. Got a little sour taste to it. That's going into the garbage chat. 13. Y'all, yeah, you know the funniest things intrigue me when I read them. I'm not a golf person. At all. Maybe. Y'all, this is okay. I think that's my problem. I don't really. I, I've had this a while. And I'm trying to eat it, but. I guess I'm so used. I guess it's a custom. It's an acquired taste, let me say. It's not bad, that it's bad, because it's not. It's, it's, but, you know, when you like that real Smucker's Preserves. And you eat the sugar free. Yeah. I could have ate that plain. Not so much. But if you have to have some, you can get this. But I don't have to have it. But like I said, I bought it. And if you like me, I hate to throw away money, so I'm trying to eat it. Mm-hmm. So, well, yeah, I'm saying if you have to have it, have to have some jelly or preserves on your toast and stuff, you get it. But other than that, if you can eat your toast plain like me, mm -mm, just leave it. And to be honest with you, I, wouldn't, I don't even want it on no peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Which I don't eat that often, no way. Some things that you change up eating, you can become accustomed to. But I'm not sure. That's when I want to become accustomed to. I was watching this girl's blog. Let me go back to what I was talking about. Because here I go. So, I was reading this article. Don't ask why I started reading. It was about how much the people make in the Masters. And they put the list up there. And I got to strolling down the list, right? The top earner was like $2,070,000. $2,070,000. Okay. So, I'm like, oh, okay. 
that's good. It's a nice price walking around around a golf ball. Now, I don't know how much they make on these side tournaments, but I, so I started scrolling down the list, and BJ Singh, he was he made 10000 He was on the low end. That's the lowest amount I saw on that was 10000 money-wise. Then I said, let me go find Tiger Woods. What he did, he did like a one under par, I guess. That's a negative one. So, his earnings was $50,000. Now, that's an expensive sport, so I don't know how much they have to spin out, you know, to play this, you know, to get themselves ready to even be invited to the match. I don't know how that works. Is it like, you know, Wilmington, you have to do so well? Um, before you can go to the tournament, you know, everybody just ain't going to the Masters. You know, every golfer, you know. Even if you're a professional golfer, you just not getting chosen for the Masters. So, that's what I was thinking, you know. Now, I'm like $50,000 of some people's salary for the year. So, I wonder how much they make on these side tournaments. I said, well, I can see why people go, but then you don't know. Like I said, it's an expensive sport. Kind of like the horse riding and stuff, you know, that equestrian stuff. No, is that a question? Is that horses or is that? I think that's horses. Don't start me to lie. Or is that the swimming stuff? I don't know. You could tell I don't know. I ain't into neither one of them. So, um, that kind of stuff is expensive. So, even if you come out with um, 10000 $50,000, if that's all you get for the year, and you may very well be way in the hole. You know what I'm saying? I don't know, y'all. So then, to change it over, I'm talking about Masters, but it ain't talking about no golf now. I was reading, and I've heard this before, about Taylor Swift. Apparently, the money is not only your own Masters. Because I remember when, or oh, is it a catalog? But anyway, he sold a, her 300 masters. Is that the same as a catalog, y'all? You could tell. Do y'all even know? Does anybody know out there? Because I remember Michael Jackson bought the Beatles catalog. That's why he was so rich, too. But, so this guy apparently sold her 300 masters. And I know at one, one point in time, she was in the news about that, you know, about that, you know, that was her problem with him. <clears throat> so, and of course, she got in the music industry when she was young. Now, I'm not feeling sorry for Taylor Swift because she's very wealthy. But, like I said, apparently, the money is in owning your master's. So, I don't know how that worked. So, if somebody else was to use that, unless somebody else used her stuff, can it, is it like they would get paid instead of her? <coughs> or how that work? Would she get royalties off of it? All that stuff seems to be rather complicated to me. But... Of course, I don't know. Sometimes I love breakfast sausage, y'all. Just to fry them up and eat. I don't think they're the healthiest thing in the world to eat. But anyway. So, that's enough of that. I just came on here. Since I said I'm going to eat breakfast, I'm going to come over here. I'm going to get ready and go for 
and get to work and get to get a shower. Throw me something on to look presentable in my meeting. I got a meeting today. At 9 o'clock. So I don't think they want to see me with my silk cap on and all of that. Y'all don't think so. You know, even though I think I'm rocking the thing, you know. But anyway, thank y'all for joining me for breakfast today. I hope you have a blessed and wonderful and prosperous Tuesday. Have a great, great day. You know you're loved. I love you, but God truly loves you the most. Remember to be, always be kind to yourself and others. Be joyful and be blessed. Love y'all. Bye.